Well, aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Master Paul, and I am very honored to be connecting with you today. It is the 8th day of January. We are in 2019, and man, has this year already been screaming by, nine days. So thank you for your presence. For those that just might be tuning in, this lands on their group page somewhere. Today's wisdom will be on the spiritual wisdom for protecting yourself from negative energies. Negative energies can be very unpleasant. Uh, they can interrupt our work. They can interrupt our health. They can interrupt our uh, relationships. And they show up in some unique ways. And so we're going to talk today about the nature of positive and negative energies and what you can do to uh, protect yourself, so to speak. So yeah, this is what we'll be sharing today. So I look forward to sharing this with you. You're also welcome, if you'd like, to hit the share button, let other people know about this. And, <coughs> excuse me, for those that joined me on Sunday this last week, I wanted to say thank you. Each and every Sunday, uh, I have a live stream that many of you may, may not know about. And what I do is I chant to serve those with the song of love, peace, and harmony, uh, those with the condition of cancer. <clears throat> there are quite a few people out there, unfortunately, in this planet that have that condition. And it's an opportunity to, uh, to offer some unconditional service. So if that resonates with you, I invite you to join me on Sundays. It's at uh, 6 p.m. Hawaii time, which is uh, 8 p.m. Pacific time, 11 p.m. Eastern. And over in Europe, it's kind of early. It's about 5 a.m. in the morning over there in Europe. <clears throat> but in India, it's about 9.30 in the morning. Australia, it's about 3 in the afternoon. So different times in the world where you may be able to join. So I encourage you to do so. <clears throat> so let's check in with who's joining. Uh, welcome, Master uh, Christine. Welcome also to Samba. Aloha, Anne-Marie. Uh, welcome also to Lisa Prado. Aloha, Dan. Aloha, Joy Weber. Uh, welcome also to Stan. Welcome and aloha, Kristen Rojas. Thank you for your service. Aloha, Ruita. Haven't seen you in a while. Great to see you here. Welcome, Lotzia. Welcome, Iris. And aloha, Catherine O'Shea. Welcome also, Dove Johnson and Tox. And aloha, Jennifer. <coughs> welcome, Sally Francis. And aloha also to Dina Davy. Welcome, Vanessa Angel. If anybody else, I missed your name, forgive me. Thank you so much for your presence. Today could be a very interesting topic. I was uh, tuning in. I'll tune in a little bit more on, um, on this as I offer this wisdom. But I was tuning in just a little while ago as to the, the core matter of this wisdom and how it can best serve you. And we live in very interesting times. Uh, the... Um, environment that we live in can be very toxic in so many ways and it pulls on our energies in so many ways it makes it difficult in general to remain in a very positive light uh, there's so many people that have a good intention and want to be of value to others in humanity and there are some not so much and they impact us there are our individual um, uh, record of all of our services <clears throat> those times when we have done wonderful things and those times when we have done some not so wonderful things and those have an effect on our life uh, as it has been said in some teachings what has been done into others comes back to you or karma or whatever you want to call it so these different um, aspects come from different angles some of it's our own stuff some of it's stuff outside of us some of it's a co-worker some of it's our relationships uh, some of it's even coming from uh, electronics uh, they can impact us negatively. But there is some very good solutions, and we'll go into those today. Welcome, Mir. Welcome also to Carol. Aloha to Richard. And welcome also to Tahir and Janelle. Welcome to everyone. If I missed your name, forgive me. Thank you for your presence, and thank you for hitting the share button, letting people know about this. So as I do with each and every one of my live streams, we connect heart to heart, soul to soul. We use the song of love, peace, and harmony. For those that are new, this is a mantra. It is a beautiful song that has been translated in over 40 languages. 
and I use it each and every one of my live streams to connect us heart to heart soul to soul and to um, prepare us for opening our heart and receiving the wisdom <clears throat> and you can learn more by going to lovepeaceharmony.org so let's place our hands in soul light soul service hand position it's a hand mudra position not like a prayer but the left hand drops in front of the heart center and I will call the beings of light dear our beloved divine creator by whatever name you go by we love you honor you appreciate you deeply respect you ask for your presence today dear the soul of all the beings of light serving our beloved creator including the angels and healing angels archangels masters ascendant masters gurus lamas sifu saints buddhas and bodhisattvas we love you honor you respect you we invite you to please be present today we invite the soul of beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, beloved Buddha Amitofu, beloved Kuan Yin Da Shudra Pusa, the soul of Muhammad, Krishna, Vishnu, Ganesha, and more beings of light serving the plan of the light side. Please come to join us today. We invite the soul of beloved Mother Earth, the sun, and the moon. We thank you for your unconditional service to supporting all humanity in your unique ways, mostly unseen. And we ask for your forgiveness for our lack of gratitude and appreciation for all that you do for us we ask your presence to bless today's wisdom and teachings in whatever way is most appropriate we invite the song of love peace and harmony to turn on and we ask all souls and all universes to join with us as we chant this beautiful mantra to set the energy field of love and light for those that are new close your eyes receive the blessings for those that know the song please join with me to offer this service Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo ai wo xian er ling. O I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together, love, peace, and harmony, love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So welcome, Judy Parker. Aloha, Emma. Welcome, Joanne, Jojo. Welcome, Mir. Aloha, Yvonne. Welcome, Bobby. Karina, aloha. Welcome, Carol. Uh, Carol Frederico. Aloha also to uh, Richard. Uh, I think I mentioned everybody. Welcome, uh, Sasson. If I missed your name, forgive me. Welcome. Thank you for your presence. <clears throat> so today, we got to unpack a lot of information. You know, there is quite a bit uh, packed in behind the spiritual wisdom for protecting yourself from negative energies. And in order to be able to protect ourselves, we have to have a greater understanding of the source of negative energies. And sometimes understanding that uh, can be a little surprising. Um, I'll give you an example. My teacher is Master Shah, and his very first uh, disciple, his name is Master Peter. So approximately 21 years ago, Master Peter, who grew up in Russia, uh, had been searching out uh, deep spiritual wisdom. Now, keep in mind, in Russia, 40, 50 years ago, uh, there was no such things as your Christianities or your Buddhisms or any like that. Remember, it's a community. Uh, it's a it's a community where there was no religions, so anything of that nature was underground. So he had to search out a lot of underground wisdoms and teachings uh, to get any degree of information about spirituality. And um, so by the time he had made it to um, the Americas, Canada, I believe he ended up at, um, he had searched out quite a few slices of wisdom. And he understood aspects of Confucianism and Taoism and Christianity. He understood uh, all the gems of each of them. But he was searching out a true master. 
and he uh, had come across Master Shah and connected with him and uh, in one of his first conversations he said Master Shah it's like negativity follows me everywhere I go no matter what I do I get I get thwarted it's like something uh, out there is against me I try to get a degree I try to get you know move up in the world and I get whacked every time and Master Shah laughed and he said Master Peter it's not something outside of you it's not the negativity outside of you it is your karma so this is one piece of the pie not all of the pie but one piece of the pie so negative energies comes from many different places some within our control such as our own karma some outside of our control so for understanding purposes what are positive and negative energies well in essence uh, uh, offer you a different perspective and a different slice of wisdom um, everything in life is is in balance sometimes in different cultures called yin and yang the highest level teachings <clears throat> share that creator created heaven and mother earth uh, creator heaven and mother earth represent three from three all things come Creator, heaven, mother, earth are three. From three, all things are created. <clears throat> when heaven and mother earth were created, yin and yang were created, or opposites. Okay, <clears throat> Male, female, polarities, whatever you want to call it. And so uh, a perspective that you don't necessarily have to accept or believe uh, is that from original creation, when original creator said, I would like to know who I am I'm going to explode myself into billions and billions and billions and trillions and trillions and trillions of souls and each of the souls I will give them uh, empowerment I will give them the ability to, to experience the ability to be responsible for their creation since they are part of me original creator this is again a perspective so imagine if original creator said push and made himself into trillions and billions of souls which then were given the power to experience and create if that were the case then we are responsible for our creation right and so coming into a world of yin and yang we had the opportunity to create with love we also had the opportunity to create opposite of love and this is where yin and yang further expanded it has been stated by uh, science and it's my personal belief that with each thought the universe expands with each action the universe expands so we collectively uh, impact the universe by our potentiality of condensed positive thoughts or our condensed negative thoughts and we can affect uh, the world by positive thoughts this has been validated and proven scientifically has been validated and proven uh, empirically through actual data so uh, a condensed series of positive thoughts many many people meditating can impact the world uh, and obviously in reverse condensed negativity can impact the world so these are the things that could be outside of us and it could be things that are inside of us as well our collective choices and actions from the beginning of our birth from original creator has created uh, both positive and negativity in our life we come into this world with the beautiful mother and father hopefully and we go through our process of learning uh, right around the age 18 19 20 we start to intellectually and spiritually wake up maybe some of you started sooner than that and we go through the process of learning different things uh, we experience psychic abilities we learn about tarot we learn about crystals we learn about uh, all the different spiritual things on the way up we learn about Christianity Islam we learn about Buddhism Taoism and we we dip our fingers and our toes in different things so that we become more and more spiritually aware and along the way we become familiar with positive and negative energies when something happens to us we have two responses we can either take responsibility for it and recognize that there is um, negative and positive energies at work that could be impacting us or we can blame those outside of us which is what the vast majority of humanity does I couldn't possibly be anything associated with me it must be outside of me well you will find that it is both it is things inside and things on the outside
So how then do we protect ourselves from negative energies? We must first of all recognize that negative energies can both come from the outside and from our own personal soul level imbalances. Now in Master Shaw's wisdom, he explains very clearly that love is the solution. Love melts all blockages. It's truly as simple as that. But for most of us, that's just like, and then it falls right onto the ground. Uh, it doesn't really go in one ear at all. It kind of just doesn't even make it in the ear. You say love melts all blockages, and they're like, yeah, 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 that's nice, but how do I solve my money problem? Yeah, 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 that's nice, but how do I solve my relationship problem? So people don't really want to hear this simple approach. They want something a lot more, um, a lot more uh, uh, mental. So I'll give you a little bit of both. Love is the final solution. Be very, very, very clear on that. And what is love? Well, love is an energy. Love is the highest positive energy. Get your mind ripped around that, okay? You really need to understand that everything, scientifically speaking, is made up of energies. We, as a human being, identify them as positive and negative. Science might not identify them as such, but we do. So everything is made up of energies. Everything is made up of frequencies. There are higher frequencies. There are lower frequencies. And higher frequencies are not necessarily good frequencies. Higher frequencies are just higher frequencies. A cell phone frequency is higher than me, but it is not a good frequency according to my own understanding. So everything is made up of frequencies. Everything is made up of energies. It is the in the world of yin and yang where we identify it as positive and negative so give me a moment so one of the keys of protecting ourselves is to recognize that our perceptions the way we react and the way we respond to the way life brings itself to us is a form of a protection I want you to write that down. The way we react and the way we respond is a form of protection from negative energies. It's truly a very important understanding because a negative experience can happen in any number of ways. I was, uh, I was thinking, <clears throat> um, well, if, if I chose to move somewhere, if I chose to move, then I'd have to sell my cars and da, 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 da. this is like a year ago. <clears throat> and well, my cars aren't worth that much, right? So I probably wouldn't be able to get that much out of them. And then a thought occurred: Well, what if I was hit, you know, an automobile accident? Then I would get the full value for my vehicle. They'd probably total it, and I get full value. Now, a lot of people would say an accident's a bad thing; it's negative. <clears throat> but I'm offering you a different perspective. How we react and how we respond is exceedingly important to maintaining a life filled with positivity. Most of us operate out of an automatic reaction and an automatic response. You need to take a close look at your, um, uh, your patterns. You know, uh, the children are screaming at each other. Is your automatic response to scream back, to shut up? What are our auto responses? Our auto responses are programmed in. They're literally, we've, we personally have programmed them in over the course of time. <clears throat> the reason why any form of negative energies come into our environment is because on some levels, uh, whether you want to accept this or not, on some levels we are attracting it. It's a very difficult statement to hear because nobody wants to say we're attracting negative energies, <clears throat> but it is a very real possibility. How then do we attract negative energies? Well, it is a true statement, like attracts like. It is not an untrue statement. Um, look at the polarities of a magnet, right? Like attracts like. When we uh, are financially destitute, financially in a place of financial turmoil, we attract more of that. Why? Because our negative mindsets around it are attracting more negativity. When we attract uh, something to us that brings us a, uh, a very unpleasant um, health condition, maybe 
Maybe it is a car accident. Maybe it is something else where we are challenged, uh, dramatically challenged with a health condition, right? Um, and science can't figure out what it is. It's just one of those things. They don't know what it is. It's a label that they have no answer for, right? A lot of people have these illnesses. It's a label they have no answer for. <clears throat> our response and our reaction to that is very, very important. Master Shah's wisdom would say, if you have a health issue, especially something you don't have a, a solution for, uh, but even the ones we know, like your cancers and whatnot, <coughs> excuse me, his wisdom would say, this is karmic in nature. This would be uh, not an outside negative energy, but one that is part of your own creation. Hmm, that's a tough one to swallow. You mean that I created my own cancer, or you mean that I created this own incident that came to me that's given me this indefinable illness? Well, that's a tough one to swallow, isn't it? What, how we, um, how we react, how we respond is very, very important. If we react and respond with um, awareness and um, contemplation and recognition that these statements have some truth and validity to them, then we can actually make a difference. We can say, okay, if in fact I am responsible for this health condition coming to me, how then do I address it? Well, we can address it mentally, positively. I'm going to find a solution no matter what. I trust heaven will help me to find a solution. That's a positive mindset, right? A lot better than going, I'm going to die. That's not a very good mindset. You don't want to be thinking that. Well, it's kind of obvious our response and reaction is going to, one is going to help us, the other one is not going to help us. <clears throat> Secondly, Master Shah's wisdom would say, bring forgiveness and love to the table. If, in fact, it is sourced by a karmic condition, uh, one where you or ancestors had done something that had brought harm or suffering to others, then that means it's come back to revisit, to remind you. So how do we remove this reminder? How do we release this spiritual imbalance, this negative energy that has reminded us that there could have been a previous time where we had brought negative energies upon others, negative thoughts, negative actions, negative words. Remember that many of us could have has said many unpleasant things in previous times or done many unpleasant things. We don't remember it, or maybe our ancestors did. But in any case, forgiveness and love is the solution. Deep forgiveness, deep love helps release the negative energies. It has been stated by many, many of the religious teachings out there across the entire world that everything is recorded in heaven. Now, some people call that the Akashic Records. Others have different names for it. Uh, regardless of the name, it has been stated through virtually every belief system that your thoughts, your words, and your actions are recorded. Okay? That includes the ones that you react to when something comes into your world. How do you respond? How did you react? Do you react with love? Do you react with forgiveness? Do you react in a positive manner? The title of this teaching is spiritual wisdom for protecting yourself from negative energies. Now I could say you could use crystals and crystals do work and crystals do have value. They carry very high energies and frequencies and crystals are beneficial. There are pieces of slice of the pie, something positive you can add to your portfolio. But that does not fall into the category of spiritual wisdom. It calls into the category of understanding frequencies. Spiritual wisdom would say love and forgiveness has a far greater power than a crystal because it deals with things at the source of origination. Responding and reacting in a positive manner deals with things at the source of origination. What do I mean by that? If I respond and react at the source of origination, how does that benefit me? Well, what's the source of origination? This exact moment. If you do any homework and research on the subject of time, they will tell you that time doesn't really exist. They will say that all time is in an exact moment right now. Well, that one's going to make you scratch your head for about 10 years. But if you just work with the now, my reaction and my response <clears throat> now will have a very positive or negative impact on my future. That is not something that can be argued with. My reaction and my response now will have a very positive or negative effect on my future. 
So given that that's not even arguable, it makes sense that in order to protect yourself from negative energies, you deal with it now. If something negative comes now, deal with it with a positive love and forgiveness attitude. If anything is entering your world and you deal with it with a positive, loving, forgiving response, how does it impact your future? Well, we uh, uh, are told by many of the teachings out there <clears throat> that we are uh, responsible for our creation, that we are co-creators in this existence. May or may not buy into that. I am one that does buy into that. You do not have to agree. But if you do agree with that, that we are co-creators in our future, in our uh, manifestations, then my positive reaction and response now will absolutely impact my future in a very positive manner. If I react negatively to the bill, if I react negatively to the money conditions on a constant basis, my mind is worry, 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 focus, focus, focus on worry. How am I? How am I? How am I? How, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. What is that going to create in my future? More of the same. Who wants more of that? Okay. So spiritual wisdom for protecting yourself from negative energies <clears throat> is dealing with things in the moment in a very conscious way. Now, in applying direct spiritual wisdom, we would apply the practices of love and forgiveness. Now, let's go a little bit deeper than that. Let's go into some of the, some of the heavier stuff for just a little while, okay? There are uh, people that contact me that uh, they use the words, I've been attacked, you know, by dark, dark, dark energies. Is that real? Is that possible? Depends on your perspective. Certainly possible. I'll give you uh, an example. Uh, Master Shah is a world-renowned healer. And uh, in offering the positive energy blessings that he offers, he's able to uh, release negative energy blockages that reside with that person. And uh, having done this for well over 15 years, uh, he's witnessed a lot of success, but he's also witnessed a lack of success. And so he asked heaven because he knows he's not doing the actual uh, healing blessings. It's heaven's releasing heaven's positive Shen Qi Jing. Uh, you will hear the word Shen Qi Jing, which means soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. We all have positive and negative energies about our soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. And so uh, people who have significant illnesses have more negative soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter collected uh, uh, in that particular area of their illness. <clears throat> so he would offer a blessing. Heaven would release their positive Shen Qi Jing, soul, heart, mind, energy, matter, positive energies, and that would negate or wash away the negative energies. Okay, very simple explanation. And um, people would get better, many, many people, you know, 70, 80% of the people, much, much better. But there was still that 20 to 30%. And he, he asked Kevin, you know, why is this occurring? I would do the same blessing for this person. They have the same exact condition. This person's fine. This person's not. Why? And heaven shared with him, Master Shah. Yin and Yang exist all the way up to Creator. There is balance on both sides, positive and negative energies. So when he was asking heaven to release negative energies, uh, he was asking heaven to to give positive energies, healing energies, to offset the negative energies. The blessing that came from heaven was equal to Master Shah's soul standing. It was equal to his level of service, his commitment to serve humanity. This was a very big aha moment for Master Shah. He needed to have uh, uh, this understanding, so he didn't take it personally. You know, I'm giving this person everything, and yet they're still not healing. Why? And what did it boil down to? That particular individual and their ancestral lineage had made too many mistakes. The amount of negative energies that had collected on their collective soul journey had become too big. Okay? And so when we look at how do we protect ourselves from negative energies, we need to recognize that sometimes it takes time to clear the negativity. You know, there's a lot of people, this is a fast food environment. We, we, we get in line, if we don't get it within five minutes, we're huffing and puffing. Uh, we want everything now. We want it today. And we're used to that with just about every part of our lives. We want it now. We don't have 
the patience. But when it comes to something like clearing negative energies and protecting ourselves with more positive energies, we truly need to be conscientious that it took time to build up the negative energies that have come to you and reminded you in this life. They might have reminded you in unpleasant relationships. They might have reminded you in unpleasant health. They might have reminded you in unpleasant finances or other areas of your life. Wherever the negative energies are, are basically reminders. They are uh, opportunities to clear the blockages. Because the thing about negative energies uh, is they don't go away until <laughs> we, we address them. They don't just disappear uh, because, they, because we, we ignore them. Have you ever tried to ignore it? It still keeps coming, doesn't it? Kind of sucks. So we have to um, address it head on. So this is where we apply the wisdom that Master Shah has brought to us. How do we protect ourselves? We utilize love and forgiveness. Now there are other things we can do. I'm going to give you an example now. Some of, the, from, some of you might shake your head. Some of you might say, huh, I'll try that. I just mentioned in, in an example that Master Shah's uh, soul standing wasn't enough to uh, release enough positive energy to offset the negative energy of that person's health issue in about 20-30% of the time. What does that mean, soul standing? That means the, the human being has a soul and that their soul has served humanity for many, 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 many lifetimes, long, long time. And accordingly, their soul standing in this heaven is very, very high. So. Obviously, a saint is not as high as, let's say, Jesus. A saint would be lower than Jesus, but they would still be pretty high up. They'd probably be higher than you or me. So you, I, everybody is, is, has a soul standing. The soul standing is related to the service, unconditional service. So a person with a high soul standing has very high light, very high frequency. So what I'm about to show you is one potential solution to protecting yourself from negative energies. I told this just to a gentleman the other day who uh, was having difficulty sleeping at night. His uh, spiritual channels were open and he could see negative energies in the space around him and it wasn't very pleasant. And what I said was what I'm gonna share with you now. You can choose to accept this or not. It's just a piece of information. This is a picture of Master Shah. Now you can do the same thing with a picture of Jesus, but the, the trick is to put many pictures in a circle around your bed. You believe in Buddha, you believe in Krishna, you believe in Ganesha, you believe in Master Shah. Whoever you believe in, make sure they have a very, very high soul standing. That means they have tremendous light that comes to them with them. They are dedicated to serve and protect. So by putting, for example, 10 books with this image around your bed or 10 pictures of Jesus or 10 pictures of Buddha or whatever it might be, this is how you can have better sleep at night. Be protected, sleep well. Very simple things like this. Many people out there have a cross on their, um, on their neck. I would suggest actually an image of Jesus instead of a cross. Why? Because when darkness and dark energies come around you and they see that image, They'll be a little more afraid. <laughs> they won't, won't be too afraid of a cross. They'll be a little more afraid of the image of Jesus, the image of Buddha, or the image of Kuan Yin, or the image of Krishna, etc. So this is very simple practices. Now, it is important. One of the ways you can have spiritual protection is to ask for it. Ask for it. What do I mean by that? I mean each and every day really connect to heaven connect to the being of light that resonates with your heart the most burn some incense offer some fruit show your gratitude to the beings of light it does not matter if you see them or don't see them it really doesn't they are there you know why does everybody want to open their third eye because they want to have proof and validation well it's highly likely your third eye would open if you trust in more one of the things you can do is offer your gratitude. How does heaven eat the fruit? Do they sniff the incense? What do they do? It is a statement of your heart. When you 
place these things on an altar. And again, any deity you want. God doesn't matter. Okay? I'm not telling you who to follow. Follow whoever you want. But when you place something there, and then you put your head on the ground, what you are saying is, I humble myself, and I recognize that there is more going on than my monkey mind can understand. And I am beyond honored and grateful for any blessings and any guidance that you can give. I am humbled, honored, and grateful for any protection that you are willing to give me. Very simple comprehension. A lot of people have the wrong monkey mind mindset. Oh, they're bowing down to the ground. Oh, they're burning incense on an altar. What's wrong with these people? Okay. Maybe not you, but a lot of people do, right? It's because they don't comprehend the essence of respect and gratitude, which is really what it is. What happens when you offer heaven the fruit and the water that you place on the altar? The essence, the souls come. They enjoy the essence. They bless that fruit. They bless the water. When you eat it, it will have so much more nourishment for you than without that blessing. Why, uh, why do we do that? Very simple. The more we honor, connect, the more respect we give to heaven, the more um, we think about heaven, Jesus, Buddha, Mother Mary, who, again, whoever you connect to, when you honor and connect to them, they will be there for you a lot more often. That means that when you're driving on the road and a car accident based on your karmic uh, spiritual records is scheduled to happen, they intervene and you get a little side scrape instead of a broken neck. I tell you this happens more than you possibly know and it can be increased dramatically if you honor and respect a lot more on a daily basis and while you're doing that honor and respect this is where you add the most important part forgiveness and love forgiveness is asking for and offering asking forgiveness to all those that you may have harmed. None of you watching today, I know I can't say this, have never had a negative thought. None of you can say, I've never spoken a negative word or a negative action. There's probably one or two that can maybe say, I've never had a negative action. But almost all of us have had negative thoughts or words. These are recorded in heaven. They create imbalances in our alignment to source. When we have negative energies uh, come to us, it's because our field is attracting it. It's either attracting it through our karmic circumstances or it's attracting it because we're allowing ourselves to stay in a negative energy space. We must convert our verbiage, our thoughts, our actions to positive actions, positive words, positive thoughts we must catch ourselves with our automatic responses our auto negative thoughts right how many of you have an auto negative thought right oh that'll never work oh you're so stupid i can't believe you did that auto negative thoughts oh my god i can't believe she did that right these are things that are not they're not benefiting your future they are not creating a protective environment a protective environment is a positive environment. Positive energy attracts positive energy. Do you get it? So in order to have positive energy, you got to cut off the negative ones. What else brings us negative energy? Uh, it's called N-E-W-S, news. News is exceptionally negative, destructively negative, just it is like pouring acid on positive energy news is that bad so you can turn that off truly see if you can go without it one day one week I know many of you do but some of you do not you could be very very surprised just how much more positive and pleasant you are when you're not focused on the news what are other sources of negativity sometimes very uh, loud rambunctious music Sometimes our responses to loud, rambunctious things like the kids or the neighbors or the lawnmower that was going outside my door. 
I was interrupting this. Maybe you didn't hear it, but I did. It instantly created a little negative response. I had to work with that. Okay, it's here. I don't think the students can hear it. I will just share anyway with love. But we have to catch ourselves and not allow that negative response to occur. This in turn creates a positive energy field. We then attract positive conditions. How then do we put the gas pedal down and get more positive conditions? Because positivity creates protection. Positive energy is protection energy. Now I, as a master teacher of Master Shah, I have some extraordinary authorities. I can deliver downloads and transmissions. I just did recently, one of the students watching now received it, for uh, light wall protection. A particular student is a medium, so they're dealing, they can see, they, they, they're, they can be attacked if they're not careful. They received light wall protections, and protections communicable disease, protection against natural disasters. I have those authorities, I can deliver those. And absolutely, if you want something that's, that's you know, over the top tangible, you should get that. But in terms of spiritual wisdom, positivity brings more positivity. Cutting off negativity cuts off the opportunity to bring more of it to us. We are all co-creators. And so this awareness will help us tremendously if we can attune to it. So let us do a practice. Everybody sit up straight. Welcome Antoinette, welcome Jota, welcome Johannes, Aloha Janelle, uh, welcome Carmel, welcome also Jen, Phyllis, Joanne, Crystal, uh, Jetty, welcome, Alexia, Margaret, welcome Rodney, Aspasia, welcome Erica, welcome Ute, welcome Pamela, welcome Melissa Ray, welcome Carrie, Esther, Leona, welcome Tom. And if I missed your name, forgive me. Thank you all for your presence. Let us do a practice. Everybody sit up straight. If possible, bring your back away from the back of the chair. Close your eyes. Let us fully connect. Let us connect to our soul first. Dear my beloved soul, I love you. Really send love to your souls, not hokey pokey words. Send your soul love. I love you. I really, 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 really love you. Please forgive me, my beloved soul, for creating new spiritual debt and negative energy for you to deal with. Please forgive me my lack of awareness and effort to maintain positive energy, love, and forgiveness. Please forgive me, my beloved soul, the mistakes that I have made in the past and the mistakes that I have made recently and by allowing negative thoughts, negative words, and negative actions into our energy field. Please forgive me, my soul, for my automatic, unthought-out negative responses and reactions. I recognize that these automatic negative responses and reactions, negative thoughts, words, and actions, can create a negative future. And I sincerely apologize. I wish to create positive, healthy thoughts, words, and actions. I wish to catch myself with my responses and reactions and create a future of positive energy, of protective energy. I wish to release all the blockages that have the potential to bring negativity into my life. I ask you, my beloved soul, to assist me with this. Thank you. Let us continue. Dear my beloved divine creator, all the beings of light who have come today, I love you. Send them your love, your greatest love. I love you, love you, love you. I deeply appreciate all of the things that you do for me, seen and unseen. I deeply appreciate 
your love, your protection. I deeply appreciate your guidance. I sincerely apologize my lack of honoring, respect, gratitude, appreciation, and alignment to the love and the light that you bring to me every day. I deeply apologize my lack of gratitude to you please bless me to remember each and every day to align more to be grateful more to communicate with you more thank you dear all souls of humanity continue to repeat all souls in all time if I or my ancestors have offered negative thoughts, negative words, negative actions. And we have kept you from having positive experiences, positive memories, positive love because of our negativity. I sincerely apologize. I recognize this is possible because in my life, I have had negative people think negative things towards me and do negative things and act in negative ways. And I have not understood that maybe I have done this to others. Please forgive me and my ancestors for these wrong actions, these mistakes. I will do better. I will watch my thoughts my words and my actions I will not make the same mistakes over and over I will watch my reactions and responses and do my best to release old patterns of negative response please forgive me my mistakes now we must forgive the others that have brought negativity into our world very important continue dear all the souls that have spoken negatively towards me thought very unpleasant negative things towards me offered very unpleasant negative actions towards me it is time that I release you of this spiritual imbalance I recognize I may have been negative first and if I have, forgive me. I wish to release you fully and completely of any spiritual debt that you may have with me. And I ask that we all move forward in love, peace, and harmony. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we have now offered forgiveness. Now we must offer love. Who do we offer love to? We offer love to all the souls we have ever offered negativity to. We offer love to our own soul. We offer love to all the beings of light. We offer love to God, source, creator. So I will sing a song. It's called I Love You. And you can listen or sing with. But the key is to send love. Send to all the souls that have been Harmed by our negativity send love to yourself and your own soul to heaven all the beings of light let us begin I love you I love you send love I love you I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you, I love 
อยู่ไอ้ลายูไอ้ลายูไอ้ลายูไอ้ลายูไอ้ลายูไอ้ลายูโฟกัสอันสังเกตลอบที่ตัวเองขอบคุณตัวเองขอบคุณตัวเอง I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love. I love you. I love you. <coughs> how, how, how! Thank you, thank you, thank you. So this very simple wisdom is in order to protect ourselves. We must convert our negative energies into positive energies. We can do that by watching our thoughts, words, and actions. We can go much deeper and clear much more by doing sincere forgiveness and offering sincere love. This is what we can do at the physical 3D level, right here, right now, because what we focus on is what we become. So, do you want your focus to be on negativity, or do you want your focus to be on positivity? Which one do you want more of? You are in control of your creation. Do not think ever that it's outside of your control. Doesn't matter what happens, quote to you. React and respond positively. You will pass through it with far greater speed, far less reaction and response. And far uh, greater overall benefit by reacting, responding with love, forgiveness, and conscious positivity. If you have such significant conditions in your life of negativity that you need protection from outside energetics, connect with me. I can offer very high level, a uh, whole body protection, light wall protection. It is a very very powerful blessing, not something. Uh, to be minimized, but not everybody needs that. So I'm very grateful for this opportunity to serve you. I leave you with a gentle comment that I have at Open Spiritual Channels course. It's a two-hour-a-week, 12-week course where we focus on opening your third eye, all your spiritual channels. Lots of practices, lots of deep wisdom. Great opportunity to take. Uh, Sometimes some of the students have went to three-day con condensed courses. This is expanding it and going much deeper. So if that's of interest to you, you can follow the links. Uh, Kristen will post a link for me in her chat, and you can also connect with me on Messenger. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will see you on Tuesday, Thursday, excuse me, three hours earlier than today. I will see you then. Bye, bye, everybody.